Hello and welcome to We Explain DeFi Chain. My name is Daniel and today I present you the fourth episode of the Light Wallet tutorial. If you have not seen the other three episodes, I will show you here the links to it. Please have a look on them because you also need these features handling the Light Wallet. And now I'm very happy to show you what you can do with the vaults and loan feature inside the Light Wallet. If you like the show, please give me a like. Also comment if you have questions or some uh, hints for me for the future. Press the subscribe button of the channel and the bell button so that you not miss any show in future. So now jump into the screen share of the Light Wallet. Here we are, the Light Wallet of my mobile device in the middle center. I am using the wallet which I set up in the episodes before. I just put some more DFI on it to play around with the vault and loan feature. And we start with creating a vault. So here now you see the fourth menu, the loan section. If I press here, uh, at the beginning you just see the create vault opportunity because you have not created any vault inside the wallet now. Here's also a nice FAQ. If you press here you will see some questions regarding the vault and loan feature and you can read what's behind. Jumping back. So now we want to create our first vault. So uh, the very early beginning you will be asked to choose a loan scheme. So let us start with the 500%. So here I just pay 1% interest per year for my loans. I can press continue. Here is an overview. Uh, creating a vault will cost two DFI. One will be paid back after closing the vault and one will be burned. You also have to pay the transaction fee which is very low and in some it will cost this amount of DFI. Here you see again 500% is the minimum collateralization ratio and I have to pay 1%. Confirm to create the vault and like any other transaction on the blockchain you have to put in your passcode for signing the message. The message is sent to the blockchain and then the vault should be created. So let's wait a little bit. After creation of the vault, you see it here as an active vault with a total loan amount of zero and also the collateral amount of zero. So the first step before you can mint any other token is to put in a collateral. So we choose edit collaterals, jumping to a new menu where you can add token as a collateral. Uh, please remember 50% of the collateral must be in DFI. So I choose here DFI to be added as a collateral. So now a second step is which amount should be added. In our case, I want to add five DFI into the vault as uh, the collateral. And here also a, a small hint that the UTXO must be first converted into a token before they can add it into the vault. So I choose add token as collateral. Now next step is putting in the passcode for signing the message, sending to the blockchain, and then we have to wait for the next block before we can proceed. Okay, transaction completed means I now converted my UTXO in the wallet into a token and I now can confirm to add the collateral. So that's the second step. I also have to put in my passcode, signing the second message and waiting again for the next block. Collateral is added. You see it here. It appears under my vault overview. I also see here now $15 roundabout are now put as a collateral and I can add a second token as a collateral. For example, I have here $3 in USDC which I want to add as an amount. So we are typing in three, add as a collateral. Again, 
have to confirm that 3% of USDC should be added to the vault, which is now then uh, in future nearly 20%. Okay, still enough DFI in the collateral. Ask code, signing the message, and again waiting. Now the second token is added as a collateral, the USDC. You see it on the bottom of this overview screen. You also see the ratio of your collateral regarding DFI, 83% and USDC. Uh, you see here the collateralization ratio currently is zero because I have not created a loan, which will be now the second step for this tutorial, creating decentralized tokens with the help of the loans. So we go back here to the overview. On the overview page, you see now here pros loan tokens and I have to choose which token I want to create now with the help of my collateral. So I choose here the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ticker. I have to choose which collateral I want to use. I only have one wall, so one collateral can be used. I press here and now I have to add the amount of tokens to be created. So here the NASDAQ is nearly $500 worth. I have a collateral of nearly $20. I need a collateralization ratio of 500%. So let's try if we can mint 0 0.01. Uh, a NASDAQ token and you directly see no it's not possible because the resulting collateralization level will be lower than my chosen 500%. So I have to mint less token. So let's start with 0 0.005. You see again here a collateralization level of 900% would be the result which is nearly factor two of my needed collateralization level. And please keep in mind, if you fall below this ratio, your vault will be liquidated. So you no longer have access to your collateral. Uh, it will go into an auction and others can bid on them. So in this case, I have a factor of nearly two. So a drop in the collateral uh, price of the DFI of nearly 50% is allowed and then I would be liquidated. Interest uh, again, uh, the amount I want to uh, mint and you also see here what I have to pay back after one year. So it's the amount of minted including the interest. The fee of the transaction, press continue. Again, an overview, confirm borrow and now after putting in the passcode again, a message will be signed to create the token on the blockchain. Okay, transaction inside a block, block minted, press OK. And now I can go back to my vault overview. And now the picture changed a little bit. I see the current collateralization ratio of my vault, which is 900%. So it sounds a lot. But here in the representation, you see it's not very much because it's just a nearly factor two before the liquidation. So I'm currently uh, in this scale here. Uh, if I want to put more collateral, um, I will lower the risk. And if I remove the collateral, uh, the risk will be higher. So that's the creation of a, a token with the help of the world. If you want to see which token is created, you can have a look on this small uh, symbol. Um, that's the token minted. Here you see also the collateral or just click on manage loans. And then you see again what was minted uh, by the transaction before, if you want to see it. So let's jump back so far for creating the loan with the help of a vault. Now, next step. I can withdraw some collateral if I'm above the collateralization ratio. So in our case, we have 900%, 500% is needed. Then I can click on the edit collaterals. 
I can see what is the correlate currently in the world. And for example, I can withdraw here one USDC. So pressing here, a window opened and I can put in the amount. So in our case, just one USDC, not too much because otherwise I would, the, the liquidation would be directly run. Remove here again. And again, my transaction was executed by the master nodes. Press OK. Here I now see only two USDC are remaining in my collateral. And my collateralization ratio dropped below the 900% rate. And if I now go back into the balance overview, I now see again my one USCC back in the wallet. I can swap it, I can transfer it, whatever I want. So that's the way how you can withdraw a part of your collateral if you have enough above the liquidation level. Now, next step, you see, hmm, I'm very near the liquidation level. I want to pay back a part of my loan or complete both is possible, then you go to the wall section and click manage loans. Here you see your current running loan. So in our case it was 0.005 of the DQQQQ and I can say okay pay me, I want to pay back a part of the loan. So in our case I'm paying back not the complete loan, it should be run further. I just choose 20% which should be paid back. So here this amount is paid back. This will remain in the loan. Press continue. You see the overview. You see the current collateralization ratio and you can confirm the payment. And after typing in the passcode again, transaction will be sent to the blockchain and executed. Again, transaction inside the block. Press OK and you see collateralization ratio increased to over 1000% because you paid back a part of your loan. Now, next step, you're running a loan and you want to borrow more because you say, hmm, I have enough collateralization, I need more token, for example, I want to participate in the liquidity mining. So again, you can choose manage loans and press here, borrow more. So in our case, I want to borrow 0 0.002. Let's have a look if it works. It will work. 731% of collateralization level is still above the chosen 500%, but you will directly see here at risk. So it's really near the liquidation level. So be careful with it, have a look on it. Uh, if it drops below the 500% you will be liquidated means you are losing the vault. So in our case I press continue. The overview, same game again. Press confirm, type in the passcode and wait for the next block. So the additional DQQQ token are minted. You see here the collateralization ratio is about this 730%. If I have a look into my balances overview, I see now 0.006 DQQQ token. Now, next and last step for this tutorial. Okay, here this uh, current collateralization ratio is very near the liquidation threshold. So I'm not feeling very comfortable. So I choose to change the loan scheme, pay a little bit more of interest, but then I will be safer regarding the liquidation. So again, I can go into this current vault. So I just press into uh, the, this vault overview or choose this arrow. And then I can see here, I can change the collateral. So I can add or remove collateral or here I can edit the loan scheme. Uh, higher loan scheme is not possible because then I would be liquidated so it's not possible to choose. Um, in my case now I choose this 200%, pay 
pay the double of interest, but you will see the liquidation risk will be very much lower. Continue overview again from 500 to 200% ratio. Interest will go up from 1% per year to 2%. Confirm edit, type in the passcode, wait for the next block. Same game. Here we are, block minted and the loan scheme changed to a minimum of 200% and you see this mark jumped to the right more into the green area. Now I have more than factor of three in a collateral than I minted in the token. Uh, also a nice feature here is you will see the next collateralization ratio. What means next? The price information, if I remember correctly, are updated once per hour. So here you see what will happen next. Um, uh, you can watch it and uh, you can do steps or you can avoid liquidation if it runs over or under the minimum ratio. So that was the last action I want to show in the Light Wallet. Now we came to our last step of the tutorial, DeFi scan with the overview of the vault and loans. So let's jump into another screen share. Now let's have a look on device scan, what happened with our vaults and loans. I just copied the transaction idea or the vault idea from my mobile device. Here you directly see you can give a look on the transaction or in our case we want to look on the vault. So we choose the second option and here you see everything in the vault without uh, your wallet. So it's on the blockchain. You can have a look from everywhere. You have access to the internet. You see the total loan value, which is a little bit, a little bit above $2. You see your current collateral value, uh, 17 and a half dollar, the current ratio, the minimum, uh, collateralization ratio and the interest. You also see the details about your current collateral. We put in five DFI and after removing one USDC, two are remaining in the vault and we created 0.006 DQQQ. So everything on DeFi scan um, available and you can just have a look what's happening here. Follow your vaults uh, regarding liquidation, for example. And uh, that's more or less all I want to show today regarding DeFi scan. Okay, we are at the end of this tutorial. I hope it helped a little bit. You see, it's uh, on the first impression very complex, a lot of menu entries, a lot of opportunities. But uh, from my perspective, it's very easy handling. You have the vaults, everything regarding the collateral. You can put in coins, you can remove coins, you can change the loan scheme. You have the loan section, which is more or less minting the token. Yeah, there you can uh, borrow more or pay back any amount you want. So very flexible. Um, and that's the way how you can create decentralized tokens on DeFi chain, for example, um, putting in them into liquidity mining. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give me a like, give me some hints or questions you still have after this tutorial. Then I will have a look if we need another episode. And I would say bye bye and stay tuned.